let the madness begin. What's up, Pea Nation? We are in Sydney right now. Last time you guys saw us, we were in Antarctica, and things have changed. We are dealing with the coronavirus just like everyone else, and we're putting this video out now so that you guys don't think we're traveling in New Zealand and Australia when we're really back in the States. So our travel plans have been really rearranged due to this whole coronavirus thing, understandably so. So today, we're actually flying from Sydney, Australia, to San Francisco, and San Francisco back home to Dallas. Yes, yeah, so we will give you those Australia and New Zealand videos. Those are coming right after this one. Don't worry about it. We went on a great road trip in both countries. It was amazing. We're super excited to share it with you. But we just wanted to show you what it's like to travel in an airport that maybe is empty. We're not really sure what we're gonna expect here. Yeah, we have no idea what we're walking into. We have hand sanitizer. We have antibacterial wipes. We are super ready for this really, really long travel day. I mean, this is not just like a hop over you know, airplane ride. <laughs> 14 hour flight to 14. San Francisco. Go. hour flight back to the United States amidst everything it's going to, it's it's going to be absolutely crazy first we got to get to the airport also the hotel we're staying at is really nice it was only $60 a night it was normally $200 a night more noisy here than it was in Cannes. We flew there and everyone is just not talking, so here are people a little bit yeah. more lively. Everybody has a face mask on though. I feel badly that we don't, but we don't have any. We saw someone almost like in an entire hazmat suit, which I guess that makes sense if like you're- Autoimmune have, disorder, yeah. Yeah, like an immune deficiency. It's pretty tough. So now we're gonna try and go through security, see what that's like, how many people are gonna touch us. Coming down. I think the gate check-in was just super intense because there's a lot of students traveling with us that were doing their study abroad and yeah. had to cut that really, really short. And so everyone is just like asking all these questions. They want to have bags for the whole semester, which we only have one check bag. So, but the airport is not empty like everyone said it would be. It's actually pretty lively and normal for a Tuesday. There's also like, I think there might be a cutoff for flights going back to the United States, but that's not, I'm not sure. That's mm -hmm. been like, people keep on asking us, like, are you getting one of the last flights back? And we're just kind of like, no, maybe. It's not, it's not a cutoff yet from Australia. <laughs> yeah. It is for, like we said, 85 like, we don't really countries. know. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're trying to go find a lounge, trying to relax a little bit before we get on this flight. We've had the hand sanitizer out. It's gonna like eucalyptus. That's it's gonna be great. Good. At least that's a positive. It's very calming. Bad. I did not know they made packages of Tim Tams this big. This is gigantic. Okay, so behind me is something you don't see ever. <gasps> McDonald's is closed <laughs> on a Tuesday because the governor said that all restaurants could only do takeout. And so you can still order. There's like two people working here. But as far as sitting at a restaurant, that can't happen in New South Wales. Which yeah. is crazy. In, in America that happened, well, at least where we're from, that happened a while ago. But it just happened here in Australia. And you can't eat anywhere. Fun fact. In Australia, McDonald's is called Maccas. I love it. Get my Maccas. Big news. So, lounges are actually closed also. Because it's a place you sit and eat, so you can't even stay in the lounge. I think that makes sense. I didn't really think about it though. You'd think like lounges would still be available for people. It but is it kind is, of a restaurant. It technically is a restaurant. Yeah. yeah. For our very long flight, 
we bought some Tim Tams, which are like the iconic New Zealand Australian cookie. They are so good. We got Manuka honey and orange dark chocolate. We just got, got it from the store oh. and everything's 50% off because everything's about to close down. Yep, and they wouldn't let me use cash. And I have like literally five Aussie dollars left. And I was like, oh yeah, it's perfect. Like I'll buy some cookies, I'll get rid of this money so I don't have to exchange it. But everything's closing. They're only taking cards. It's crazy. Okay, so we were able to get some food for free with our Priority Pass membership, and we just feel like you guys are really confused right now. We just got back from Antarctica. That was like a month ago. And so the videos yeah. that you guys have been watching have been Antarctica. We have a whole series on road tripping New Zealand, and then like diving the Great Barrier Reef, and seeing Sydney and Melbourne, and there you go. It's gonna be so good, but I just want you guys to know, this is just right now. This is what's yep. happening now, we're going back to the States. And then all those other videos will be coming soon. So we ordered burgers, and this is like the most Australian burger. It's got like beets on it. I don't know if Australian, but very fancy. This is not your average burger. All right, just had our burgers, and most places are packing up like all their stock, whether that's pelts or kangaroos that are stuffed or even candy. Like, it's really weird to see everyone packing stuff. And the flight to Vancouver got canceled, so a lot of people are gonna be on our flight, yeah, to San Francisco. No wonder they were trying to give you a $1,000 voucher when you checked in. Yeah, they were like, there were so many, we had to like check in in a kiosk, right? Before we like actually dropped our bags off with a live person. And like every other page was like, are you sure you don't want to switch your flight? Get a voucher, are you sure? You can get $500, you can get $700. There's only one United flight after this and that's tomorrow. Ah. So switch it to what? I don't even know. Yeah, what does that mean? Like, no. <laughs> begin. We made it. The flight is completely full. It's like we told you. We're still trying to give out vouchers and there's just basically a bunch of students. Yeah. Blonde hair. Young. Everybody's going home. And they're all talking about it too. They're like, oh yeah, there's an orientation. That's just back in June. And people are like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Not even consider it being winter. winter. <laughs> We've been in the southern hemisphere for six months now, so this is quite different. <gasps> what? And there are like eight, how many? 18 different wheelchair people. It's really a necessity flight. It's like all the last yeah. people that have to come back home from the coronavirus. Yep, we definitely made it back to America. We are standing and walking on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> no more left hand side. No thing. more left hand side. We rechecked our bags. We're gonna see if we can get into this lounge because I think restaurants are still open in San Francisco, but we'll show you. This airport isn't as deserted as I thought it would be, but we'll I don't see. have I don't have high hopes for restaurants. <laughs> The airport is definitely comparable to what it normally is on Tuesday, except all the planes that are leaving are very, very small. Instead of being like 100 passengers to fill, there are like 50 passenger planes. Like our plane's gonna be two and two, and yeah. normally the passenger plane to Dallas would be three on each side and 60 rows back. Yep. Last leg, she's falling apart. Falling apart. Rona, is that you? <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to the Dallas number local times 404. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened and all your carry-on items properly stowed. When we arrive at the gate, the captain will turn the seatbelt sign on the belt. She's delirious. She slept for the past three hours because there was no one on her flight, so she got to lay down in her own row. There was no one here at the airport. I can totally understand why they might shut the airlines down. Like, the airlines might voluntarily shut down because there's no one flying. Yeah. I thought it was a rumor, but it's true. Also, it's a weird coincidence. I just saw the lady that helped me get on my flight to Antarctica walk yeah. by. This is literally full circle because we were in this terminal before we went to Antarctica. She checked me in. That is crazy. It's like, am I, am I seeing stuff? <laughs> Deja vu, what's going on? But today's been crazy. I'm so excited that we got to show you guys the empty airports. It's the apocalyptic world. I can see why people like to urban explore now and go into old buildings that are just decaying because that's what this airport is right now. It's like seeing into the future. <laughs> it's crazy. One day it's going to get better. This virus will leave. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy our New Zealand and Australia footage because they are epic. We had so much fun filming them. Thanks for watching. Like, what? It keeps smelling so good, but it's the hand sanitizer we just put on. Eucalyptus. Okay. Eucalyptus. Yeah.